Yeah, hello and welcome to my English class. I am your English teacher, Shri Dashi Kulaiman. So, as I was continuing the chapter, I was teaching the last class, the rat trap. So again, I'll be continuing the same chapter, line-wise explanation. And I haven't done the previous class, previous class in uh, means part three of my video. I have done recapitulation, and today I won't. But with with the, those idea, I want the students you might be refreshing those information in your mind. Just do it. I will looking into part three video and come back for the part four. You can enjoy uh, the continuity is there in this part four video. Okay, so look at with the I'll be resuming the class right now. If you're new is here, just don't forget forget to subscribe here my channel. Thank you. See the continuity of the chapter coming in part four. Just before understanding any issues. Part one, part two, and three. You must see it. Okay. Okay. So he had not come there to talk, but only to warm himself and sleep. This was my last discussion, students. So here, what is the motto of that man? Was this man here? The peddler, the vagabond, the tramp. What is his motto to be here? To, to, to be warm because it's a cold winter season, the last of the December, and due to his, he is here to, to what? What to do? To just be warm there and to complete his sleep, to take shelter at night. This is the reason he is there in the Ramjo's Iron Maid. Okay, so we can see the next one. In those days, Ramjo's Iron Mill was owned by a very prominent iron master. Underline here. In those days, who is owned? Who owned this one? That uh, Ramjo's Iron Mill was owned by a iron a mill uh, iron mill owner by a very prominent iron master, whose greatest ambition was to ship out good iron to the market. What was his ambition? To ship out good iron to the market. His ambition was this. Whose ambition? The, the prominent iron master. Okay, the prominent iron master, his ambition was to ship out these uh, goods. Which goods are here? That is iron. Okay, so best product should be supplied to the market. Okay, when you do some business, people should get the best product. When the people are, the customer satisfied, then you are, will be, you'll be in the demand in the market. So you should do your best whatever you are doing it. So that was his ambition. Whose ambition? Ramjo's iron mill owner. Okay, who, who, who is he? A very prominent iron master. Very prominent man, very focused to his work. Okay, he watched both, he watched both the night and day to see that the work was done as well as possible. See, when there is an owner, in some place they look everything tit and bit like a like a cat i cat is very sharp okay they look very very sharply everything they observe it and immediately they will take the action okay silently they will go you cannot understand means shop like they work similarly i'm going giving this kind of comparison why because the when owner they are doing, dealing they're very much active in their work when i give the example of the blacksmith master blacksmith he was not serious yes he is allowed or not he was hurting you want to stay stay he's not giving the permission or denying as the owner they can do it okay he watched both night and day to see that the work was done as well as possible if the work is going for good or not at this very moment he came into the forge on one of his nightly rounds of inspection he comes in the night late night for the inspection so this is the correct time for his visit and the man is here for his inspection got it clear eh? why the man is coming here and he's coming for the inspection day night everything he comes for the inspection how the people are working what how the things are going on when the owner will come people will be in serious they will bring their work seriously naturally the first things first thing he saw was the the tall ragamuffin okay the tall the tall ragamuffin, the tall ragamuffin refers to whom? The dirty man, the dirty man, the dirty man. Okay, the tall man, the, who was dirty there? The one and only man is here to be the dirty. That is the protagonist, the 
peddler, the vagabond. Tall Ragamuffin, who has teased his way so close to furnace that steam rose from the wet rags. Okay, so wet rags. Uh, yeah, I have said uh, peddler. Yeah, peddler. So the peddler, the rat trap seller, is uh, the tall Ragamuffin, the, uh, the drag dress, what he was wearing, that refers to that Ragamuffin. Okay. Who had eased his way so close to the furnace that steam rose from his weight rags. From the weight rags, see the uh, as he was coming uh, from the out, the out weather was what? Raining, heavy storm was going on, snow rain, even we can say storm was going on. And due to it, he was totally weak. And what he is doing? He was sleeping here to the furnace. Steam is coming. Okay, the that uh, the smoke is coming so, as if something is there. Uh, weight and the fire, it will be there at the same time. You can understand how the smoky condition would be. The iron master did not follow the example of the blacksmith. See, yeah, the narrator is right. How when I gave the example that day when giving the introduction of the last class, also, as in the uh, rat trap, sorry, uh, that class 11, you read the chapter that was. Uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, Ranga's marriage, as narrator is declaring, saying, informing everything as in a narrative way, the same way here the, the writer has written the same way. Okay, the Iron Master did not follow the example of blacksmith who had hardly des, uh, dignified, so dignified to the look of the stranger. Means he just paid his attention; he did not focus what should be done or not. Okay, so <clears throat> at the stranger, he walked close to him. Now what he is doing, he just casually paid attention. He did not focus much. He was very much casual with the stranger. But here, he walked close up to him, looked him over very carefully. He looked him over very carefully, very appropriately. Who is that? What is he doing here? Then he tore off his clouds hat to get a better view of his face. Mr. Torments, he was literally not hearing it. He just, he has, see, when we sleep, what happened? We try to cover our face in winter season or summer season. Some have the habit and they cover their face. Okay. So similarly, this man has done that. He was having a hat and he covered with the face while sleeping. So he came and he removed the hat to see the face, the face view. Okay. So what we are able to see, but of course, it is you. It is you. Niels Ulf, he said, how you do look. Mark it down the lines here, how it is saying, oh, what is saying here. Okay, but of course it is you, Nils Ulf. He said, how you do look? So who is looking to whom? Exactly, who is looking to whom? Student, just try to understand from here. Twist is going on. Twist is happening in the chapter. Okay, so who is there and who is looking to whom? Just write it down in the chat box. I want the answers, what you have understood till now here. Who is looking to whom? I want you to write it down. The answer, you must write the answer here in the chat box. As who is looking to whom? Yeah, write it down in the chat box, students. Who is looking to whom? And who is here? What he is thinking? Come on, as per your understanding. Come on, write it down. Don't delay it. I hope all are active, all are, all are listening to me. Yes, yes or no? Write it down in the chat box quick. But of course, it is you. Uh, the blacksmith to peddler, the blacksmith to peddler, uh, the blacksmith, no, it's not blacksmith. It's not blacksmith. No, it's wrong. Uh, the answer is wrong. I need the answer students. Who is the speaker? Who is looking to whom? Yeah, it's wrong. It is not blacksmith to peddler. Wrong. The uh, listener is the peddler. Fine. Uh, who is the speaker here? Come on. Uh, tell me. Uh, uh, Ramjo. Uh, yeah, the owner of Ramjo's iron. Yeah, iron master. Very good. Very good. The Iron Master is the speaker. He's speaking to the peddler. Iron Master is the speaker. He's speaking to the peddler. Very good. So here, who is the speaker here? The Iron Master is the speaker and he's speaking to the peddler. Okay. So you know who is that man lying? He's the peddler, rat trap, rat, 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 tramp, rat trap seller. Okay. And, but of course, it is you, Nils Ulf. He said, how you do look? So this man is thinking or this man is getting the genes that who is he? Nils Ulf, his old friend. How you do look? How you are looking? What is this condition of yours? What you have made? Okay. So this is the uh, word, words coming from the Whose words? From his whose mouth? Yeah. From the Iron Master. Okay. Got it clear students? The man with the rat trap 
had never seen the iron master at ramjoks and did not even know what his name was not it clear what happened the peddler is seeing this man for the first time he don't know who is he okay and what is his name but it occurred to him that if the fine gentleman thought he was an old acquaintance he might perhaps throw him a couple of kunur okay why see just mark it down line why he did not reveal his identity again say greed again say see this is man is poor he need his uh, money he need food just okay he might prefer throw him a couple of kunur okay what is kunur it's a currency of sweden he can give some money okay so that's why he is not sharing his original identity therefore he, he did not want to undeceive him at all uh, him all at once immediately he don't want to undeceive him okay so he will take time if you will get money then after come on mera kaam ban gaya baad mein ja okay so you go to hell so just let me wait if he is thinking i am his acquaintance if you will pay me then it is good understood till here first he is thinking he will deceive him okay so till he did not want to undeceive him all at once immediately did not do it he take he want to take time why if you will pay him then after all if he is able to know his originality it's fine no issue yes god knows things have gone down downhill with me he said okay god knows things are not going good with me that's why i am in this condition things have changed i am having bad days with me so that's why i am in this condition okay god is not in with me his uh, things are in, are not with favorable with me that's why i am in this condition pathetic poor condition the man is answering who is answering this vagabond tramp peddler is answering okay but uh, but but the uh, iron master what is he thinking Uh, yes reply must come up what is he thinking come on students i need your answer here you must reply to my question what is he thinking i must think that is english class you must interact you must whatever you are listening i will think that definitely you are able to understand okay you are able to understand something other if you remain silent it's waste it is vain attending the session okay you must answer the interactive session must continue you must not remain silent you must answer okay so just answer me uh, answer me this okay yes god knows what who is thinking that uh, ramjo's iron master iron master think who is he iron master is thinking who is he answer me who is he aspire iron master who is he come on students aspire iron master who is he if you have his boss no 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 he is not his boss ramjo no god no 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 iron master is thinking that he is his friend yeah yeah very good iron master is thinking his old acquaintance his friend who is his friend nils ulf is his old acquaintance his friend his old friend known face see if you know me after 10 years after 20 years when i'll be buddha you think hey, is this asa okay so when you will think that this is asa you will come to me kindly and you will talk to me sir how are you if i'll be able to remember yeah you're good i'm able to remember you acquaintance means old connection relative connective okay i am giving the example i am your acquaintance you know me after 10 years 20 years when you will see me yeah this is my sir i know him is he is a uh, known to me okay getting it so this is a old acquaintance old one to whom he know who is that nils ulf getting my point got it clear students the things are clear he is thinking that his old acquaintance his old friend who is he here yeah. nils ulf understood till here students understood till here yes 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 that's good yes god knows things are gone down with me he said you should not have resigned from the regiment said the iron master means regiment means army people have regiment so he is thinking that this man is working in army he has resigned from his job got it clear eh? his friend nilsulf might be in army so as per the darkness as per the scene he is looking like his friend okay and he is thinking why you have left that regiment why you have uh, resigned it that was the mistake if only i had still been in the service at the time 
it never would have happened well now of course you will come home with me getting my point what iron master is thinking what iron master is thinking is his friend his nils wolf who is in the army regiment who was resigned and due to his resignation he has done big mistakes and he is in big problem so for this reason as his friend is inviting him come on you must come to me come with me to my home I understood till all of you to go along up to the manor house and will be received the owner like an old regimental comrade that however did not please the tramp understand the lines here mark it down students mark it down here mark it down here students this lines are uh, sorry yeah this line mark it down this line go or uh, to go along up the manor manor the big house big bungalow of the uh, iron master be received by the owner like an old regimental comrade like a commander like the army officer i'll be received they will be treating him like that and that however did not please the tramp he is what the vagabond rat sailor thief okay and he did not like he will be treated in that manner when they will know actually he is not that what would be the condition so he is trying to think the positive and negative he did not go immediately come on he is he is calling me i'll go to his house okay he is not doing that understood students no i could not think of it he said looking quite alarmed okay no i could not think of it he said looking quite alarmed he know the consequence greedy the world comparison he understood that he is in a lamb situation in danger situation come on be aware are a danger in a what in a alarming situation or dangers you might have seen the weather is a, a electricity board high 440 volt or more than that danger red signal has been given similarly he is able to something red signal is coming some danger situation is coming some bad time is coming so his alarm chog gaya is ready for that okay he thought of 30 kunur okay he is thinking of 30 kunur that he has he has stolen from the house of whose house he has stolen 30 kunur from the whose house students from whose house write it down the name in the chat box whose house from whose house he has stolen that 30 kunur students quick 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 be quick enough or uh, be quick enough to answer who uh, from whose house how he has stolen 30 kunur bill from whose house just he is remembering that incident come on tell me yes from whose house no blacksmith is wrong from whose house he has stolen 30 kunur bill come on answer is coming blacksmith is wrong yeah sorry yeah yeah, yeah fine no issue no issue tell me the answer if the answer is that's good who's from whose house he has stolen students please answer You, you, I, that will prove you are attentive. You are paying attention. You are able to understand. Neil Sub, no wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah, uh, tell me from whose house he has stolen? From whose house he has stolen the thirty kunar bill? From whose house he has stolen thirty kunar bill? Uh, Christine, no, no, peddler, no, no, no. From whose house? From whose house? Uh, Iron master, no, no, peddler, no. he has stolen from the uh, stranger oh, yeah old man old man name name of the old man yeah milk man he was working uh, as a, he was having a cow he was having a bossy means he was getting a milk from the cow what is his name i have done the previous video i have done the recapitulation and in the first and two videos i have shared all the details come on who is that crofter crofter an old man okay once he was a young and he was working in the ramjo's iron mill he has very good crofter okay got it clear eh? he has stolen from the whose house from the crofter's house okay he, he, he to go up to the manor and sorry ha huh? he thought of 30 kunur and he thought of the 30 kunur to go up to the manor house would be like throwing himself voluntarily in the lion's den so he is comparing he is able to understand he is going to invite that trouble going to whose house that man's house is is a big trouble he only wanted a chance to sleep here in the forge and then sneak away as inconspicuously as possible 
means without disturbing anyone, silently as he ins entered inside, chup chup, with like a cat, slow and steady, he will leave this place as possible. He, that is his interest being there in that forge. Got it understood, students? The iron master assumed that he felt embarrassed because of his miserable clothing. Okay. I, iron master assumed that. What did see? You think uh, when you invite someone, you think that if your friend is not having money or so many cases comes. For example, if you're going to invite to your bird, friend to a birthday party and you'll dinner no today I won't be going. I don't have so many questions comes to your mind. This may, may be the reason that my friend is not coming or, or he won't come. So similarly, assumption was done. What was the assumption here? He assumed that he felt embarrassed. He's feeling bad because of his miserable clothing. His miserable clothing is the vagabond rat of Shela was not in a proper clothing. Due to the miserable clothing, he's not feeling comfortable to come with this man, Iron Master. Got it clear and understood? And next line. Please don't think that I have such a fine home that you cannot show yourself there. I'm not having that big home, that fine home that you cannot come there. Yes, he said, Elizabeth is dead. Means his wife, Iron Master wife, name is Elizabeth. She is dead. As you may already, okay, as you may already have heard, my bo boys are all abroad and there is no one at home except my oldest daughter and myself. Okay, why the term has been used here? Oldest, anyone can answer here? Oldest daughter at, uh, and myself. The eligible is death. My, uh, my boys are abroad. Okay, my boys are abroad. And what happened here? The oldest daughter, my oldest daughter and myself. These two people. Who are they? The daughter of Iron Master and Iron Master are staying in their house. Not any, no one is there in the house. Only these two one. You can come. Okay. So <coughs> you can see here, my boys are abroad. So why here oldest has been used? Anyone can answer, anyone can write it down. Any of you, it may be wrong, it may be right, doesn't matter. Any answer, students, why it is my oldest daughter has been used? Any idea? Yes, any idea, students? Any idea why oldest has been used here? Okay, why this has been used, my oldest daughter? Any idea? See, students, here she's elder, means she's the, uh, as per the brother and sister, she's the senior most, we can say. Okay, and she's old in compared to them. Yeah, she's elder, and in compared to the uh, uh, what son she is old in compared to them so she is the senior or she is, they are the junior one so that's why here uh, my oldest daughter okay my oldest daughter that's why it's used here okay we were just saying that it was too bad we did not have any company for Christmas no companion is there no companion no one is there means they want someone should be there whom they can treat Okay, means see in the uh, Dashera, in Eid, in Christmas, what we do common, common thing is that we take gifts and we give gifts, even it may be family members, it may be younger one, juniors one, or it may be to the poor people. We give gifts, we give, don not donation, we can see, we for the sake of charity, for prosperous, for healthy, we give to the poor people. Okay, so that's why the Christmas, what the Edla, the, or uh, Edla, uh, what she was wanting is the oldest daughter of uh, or and the um, Iron Master. What they were wanting, they were wanting that uh, they did not have uh, any company for Christmas. Now, come along with me, help, help us make the Christmas food disappear a little faster. Come on, help us. We have so many foods, it's a festival time. So, come on, come to the house enjoy so many food and help us you also be give us to give serve you in this time of christmas okay so he's inviting to his house as as an old friend and this old friend is in a poor condition so he's inviting his old friend come on come up but 
the stranger so said no denied and no and again no the iron master saw that he must give in when you're trying you're inviting you're calling someone come on come aaj aaj we'll go when once twice thrice and many times you are inviting him or her is one is not agreeing to it or is not getting agreed to it what happen you leave your pride so the same thing he gave in gave in he is not trying he, is, he did not uh, try it more it looks as though captain von steel preferred to stay with you tonight sent jernstorm he said the to the master blacksmith and turned on his heel try to understand students here in this line looks it looks as though captain von steel prefer to stay with you tonight okay nils ulf it's a common name for that man and as he is a captain he is a, a man officer from the hoer the comrade his is uh, a good name you can say captain von steel prefer to stay with you tonight sent jernstorm he said to the master blacksmith sent jernstorm he said to the master blacksmith so he sent storm who is he we can say the iron master the owner of that he said to the iron master master blacksmith blacksmith who is working there to him and turned on his heel as if, as if uh, one officer is commanding to the other one and as per the command like army style moving on heel he walked on he started moving because he is a man of army or a commander captain in a same style he went off but he laughed to himself and he went away and the blacksmith who knew him understood very well that he had not said his last word okay just mark it down he laughed to himself and he, as he went away he laughed to himself as he went away who went away the iron master went away and he, as he is see when the owner is there what is his habit what when he comes in and gets out from here okay and what is he doing the blacksmith is the other people work they are aware about it who knew him understood very well that he had not said his last word bye bye goodbye whatever the lies last word good night okay so when you have a conversation last word before the departure good night good night sir means good night means when do you say good night last meet before your conversation departure good night means for the whole night you are not going to meet it you are going to meet next morning good night you should have a good night means the night should be good one so that last word last departure is he has not said it the blacksmith understood clearly it was not more than half an hour means something again he is going to come back or something is going to happen okay these lines gives you a clear idea so what is it what is happening here let's see it was not more than half an hour see what happened uh, suppose you have boys in your circle you have girls in your circle all are your friends sometimes uh, when your boys they are not able to convince sometimes girls easily can so when the boys are not able to convince one friend when girl will say very softly very kindly very pleasantly with a smiling tone the man must be rude or must not be rude uh, or if not interested also he will be convinced with the girl's tone and voice similarly what is happening here let's see in the coming lines it was not more than half an hour before they heard the sound of carriage wheels outside the forge so when the departure it was uh, after the departure of iron master it was not more than half an hour a new guest came in but this time it was not the iron master now who was who was the uh, who was he you it was not iron master but he had sent his daughter who is who is he right at present who is who is that person that is the daughter of iron master apparently hoping that she would have better power of persuasion than he himself means convincing okay he was not able to convince this girl can convince him easily okay understood she entered followed by a valet means a attendant carrying on his arm a big fur coat the attendant is holding a big fur coat 
she was not at all pre pretty okay beautiful and pretty is quite different the term you might have got the clear idea the first chapter the portrait of lady a teacher who had explained you might have explained this two terms very clearly pretty and beautiful so the year she was not at all pretty but seems modest and quite shy what a simple girl we can say okay who was having the beauty in her that is shy the girl who is shy is always beautiful so what she is here she is quite shy in the force everything was just as it had been earlier in the evening there is no change the scenario is not changed all are busy in their work doing something as we have seen in the evening scene the black uh, the, the master blacksmith and his apprentice sits uh, still sat on their bench they all are sit, um, sitting on the bench and iron and the charcoal still glowed in the furnace iron and charcoal charcoal is thrown the through the charcoal in the furnace the, they're increasing the what a uh, fire and the iron still in there the stranger had stretched himself out on the floor and lay with a piece of pig iron okay means the big heavy iron is there he has used that for his pillow okay he has placed his head uh, uh, okay on the pig uh, pig iron means heavy the broad iron okay under his head and uh, his hat pulled down over his eye the same way i told you when most often have the people uh, tendency to cover their face in sleep as soon as the young girl caught sight of him she went up and lifted his hat means the girl saw that the man was lying okay means the man was sleeping immediately that uh, that girl came to the uh, point and just she lifted the what hat the man was evidently used to sleeping with one eye open <laughs> you can understand how humorous how you sleep one eye open one eye is closed and another is open so if you'll see someone uh, consciously or unconsciously you can understand uh, how funny the scene will be okay so the man was having one eye open and he was sleeping okay he jumped up abruptly seemed to be quite frightened the girl is standing near him so he was totally shocked okay and suddenly he jumped up okay half sleep not half sleep uh, he was in a sleep but uh, one eye is open we cannot see half sleep okay so one eye is closed the have the people we can we can see people have that kind of tendency they will be sleeping suddenly something will happen they can recognize some who were near them okay so the, that kind of sleep people have and some sleep like a, a bum blast will be there they cannot know what is happening so this is a vagabond tramp rat trap slayer he is not having a destination to stay sleep he wherever he is getting a place he can sleep so this kind of habit they have to develop because they won't be conscious they cannot sleep someone may create problem for them okay so so he jumped abruptly and seemed to be very quiet he was very quiet so what happened here my name is edla wilmanson now that girl is giving her introduction said the young girl my father came home and said that you wanted to sleep here in the forge tonight and then i asked permission to come and bring you home to us i am so sorry captain that you are having such a hard time so as the father shared it he is his old acquaintance we they need someone to serve in this christmas time with open heart to serving someone this girl is coming to invite home this captain or we can say the original person that is a vagabond tramp as per them the captain uh, von steel or nils wolf okay and uh, is he is in this very bad at condition understood till here why the girl is here to invite someone for the christmas whom they can help in eating various foods as uh, these people can eat this man is not able so he want and the girl want someone to be coming to their house okay the next line here she looked at him compassionately with her heavy eye okay but she looked at him compassionately with heavy eye means curiously what is he see when you are curiously looking someone and trying to recognize or okay, glimpse is enough for to understand how the man is when you see someone eh, he is looking like a thief 
he is looking a crooked crooked man he is looking like a stupid fellow when you see someone you can guess how or he or she is looking so similarly see he she is paying attention towards that man with her heavy eye and then she noticed that the man was afraid when she is looking in this way the man was he she is able to understand the man was afraid either he has stolen something or else he has escaped from jail <laughs> mark it down what she is noticing here okay she she uh, she is able to notice that as if this man has uh, escaped from something or she or he has done stolen something or he has escaped from jail in the same way this man is looking she thought and added quickly you may be sure captain that you will be allowed to leave us just as freely as you came only please stay with us over christmas eve means again he's she's uh, trying to clear his thoughts and ideas addressing the captain come on when the things will be over when the christmas will get over you can get back to your original life you can get back to your as you're leaving you can go get back to your things normal as it is immediately when the christmas eve is over your yes, students you can see only please stay with us over christmas eve so this was the her interest to uh, call this man so uh, she said this is such a friendly manner that the ratra peddler must have felt confident in her the way she behaved when the girl is showing a friendly manner the definitely the opposite gender they get pleased easily so that is the uh, what happened here exactly it would never have occurred to me that you would bother with me yourself miss he said i will come at once see the reply immediately the man is saying yes i am coming you are inviting me i am coming but when the uh, owner was inviting the father was inviting he was not interested to come okay here so here you can see the peddler is ready to go till here we are doing in our class next class part number 5 where we we'll, i'll be concluding i'll be coming to an end of the chapter so for this today students here i'm remaining you to read the chapter if you have any doubt ask me we can discuss in our next class i'll be doing a recapitulation i'll be doing analysis line by line so thank you just i am resuming it means i am just ending here try to understand if is read the chapter once more if you have any doubt ask me in my next class definitely i'll help you out okay thank you students so i remain here we just you can get me i'll be sharing the video in the youtube if you have any doubt you can see once more if you have any doubt read the chapter line wise line because literature means line wise reading will help you no summarize idea summarize idea for short preparation not for long preparation for not